And that is our big story this evening. The superintendent of Greendale Schools is out after making personal purchases on the district's dime. Our Casey Cronus is live with what this sudden change in leadership means for the entire community. Casey? Ted and Mary, an investigation revealed that Gary Kiltz was using his district issued credit card to make personal purchases. Some parents say his resignation comes at a time when change is badly needed in Greendale schools. A violation of trust. It's what prompted the Greendale Board of Education to ask former superintendent Gary Kiltz to resign. An investigation documented a pattern of use of Kiltz's district issued credit card for personal purchases. Board President Joe Crepito stating while the request for resignation is not reflective of Dr. Kiltz's performance, his actions are a violation of trust between the office of the superintendent and the public. He's gone. That obstacle is gone. Kiltz's resignation comes just one week after announcing the district would move forward with an action plan, creating a more inclusive environment for students. I think we long saw him as an obstacle to progress in the area of equity. Nat Godley, parent of two Greendale High School students, says various incidents of racist behavior and language among students inspired him and other parents to spearhead Page, parents advocating for Greendale equity. The group recently criticized Kilts for skipping a district meeting earlier this month to discuss this plan, questioning his commitment to the issue. Symbolically, it lacked a lot to not have the chief of the district present for such an important effort. Now, the district would not reveal how much money Kilt spent on those personal purchases, but we're told he has agreed to reimburse them. Multiple attempts to contact him for comment today were unsuccessful. In the meantime, Kim Amidzik will be leading the district in the interim. She is currently the director of instruction and curriculum. Reporting live in Greendale, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. Casey, thank you. The end